Hello, America. Boy, the oligarchs are really trying to confuse us, aren't they? My, my, my. That God is going in every different direction. Ukraine war, bank failures, arresting Trump, <laughs> supply chain shortages, China, Taiwan. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. So this is all done by design, folks. Whether they doing it on purpose or not, Satan is the mastermind behind it all. Okay? Satan is a liar and a deceiver. He's the power and principality of the air. And he has many tentacles going out in many different directions. And he is the master of confusion, deception, and fear. So keep your head on a swivel. Watch your six. And uh, don't be distracted. Your eyes on the sky. Stay in prayer. Get in tune with God, folks. He's the only one that sees all, knows all, and is all. Nothing gets done without His permission. You want to stay in His grace, you want to stay in the center of His Spirit, you want to stay full of light. <sighs> Hallelujah. And just keep preparing. The banking situation, you know, they want to push the central bank digital currency on us so they can control every aspect of our lives. So you need to figure out how to get outside of that control. What you're going to need for long-term storage and long-term survival. Whatever you can afford. Whatever you can buy and use for underground economy. Hallelujah. Black market. I think the Trump arrest is them trying to get the Trump supporters to snap so they can just lay, label us as domestic terrorists. Everything they don't agree with is domestic terrorists, but you got to remember our constitution gives us the authority and the right to cast off the tyrannical government, the deep state, the swamp. The government no longer works for the people. We have a right to abolish it. And it's very clear with the SVB bailout, they don't work for the people. They work for themselves, they work for the investors, they work for the banking system, they work for the, the multi million billionaires. All right? They, all those, that bank was the probably had some of the biggest donors to the Democrat Party. They spent like 80 some bill, 80, 87 million or something like that towards Black Lives Matter. I don't know. That bank doesn't deserve to be saved by anybody. But everybody who banks there is connected politically somehow, some way. So that's a whole corrupt, that's a whole corrupt that's the corruption supporting the corruption. 